First question is from Sirach32281. What are the best exercises to target inner and outer thighs for females that don't have to be done on a weight machine? Okay, so this so here this is an interesting one because uh, especially when I was training in big gyms, these machines were super popular, right? Mm. The, Suzanne Summers was trying to get on. This yeah, one. the thigh yeah. master, right? Mm. In in their the the abductor. Isn't that still machines. the number one uh, fitness tool sold of all time? By all time, far, right? Yep. By yeah, yeah. far, wow. it's, I don't Land remember side. how much she sold. Maybe Doug can look it up, but it's in the it's in the insane amounts. Yeah, uh, and it was literally a. a a spring you spring. put between your legs that you squeezed and <laughs> brilliant. Now the reason why these were so popular is because of the myth of spot reduction. Okay, so uh, the myth of spot reduction says that you can burn body fat from an area if you train that area, and because especially the female market wanted their legs to look better and they wanted to be leaner in their inner and outer thighs, they were attracted to these machines that trained the muscles of the inner outer thighs with the false belief that these that training those areas then would make my inner thighs leaner and outer thighs uh, leaner. Oh, wow. A hundred, a hundred million dollars back then. That's a Oof. lot, dude. Yeah, a hundred million dollars of sales. Um, so, no, you can't spot reduce. If you burn body fat, your body burns it from wherever it wants. It typically follows your genetic pattern. Um, so it's a systemic kind of fat loss. Now, you can target muscles. And by targeting muscles, you can make them stronger and firmer. But here's the thing with inner and thigh, uh, inner mus thigh muscles and outer thigh muscles. Rarely do I train them to sculpt them. No. Because they're small muscles. It's not going to, it's like using the time to do that. You're better off doing lunges or squats or, or the hip The only thrusts. person you would consider, I, or personally, unless we're doing corrective stuff, the only person really I see doing that for is like a competitor who is like trying to shape their legs, like actually build to their, an extreme level. Yeah. To an extreme, like trying to build their inner thighs. And mm -hmm. that's the reason. But the question is always asked. Like I never get somebody like that. It's always somebody who wants to, you know, thin out their legs or lean down, and they're asking that question because they want to do exercises, thinking that that's going to make mm -hmm. their inner thighs look better. And the truth is, those those are all like like leg swings and hip adduction, abduction. Those things are uh, tube walks. These are small exercises. You would be far yeah. better off doing step ups, lunges, yeah. squatting. You know, those types of movements are going to train all of the legs, burn more calories, burn, build more muscle, speed up your metabolism. Those are going to do way more bang for your buck than trying to find these exercises where you lay on the ground and you do these leg lifts or kick outs or do these exercises where you're, you're isolating a smaller muscle of the legs, you're going to be far better off training the big gross motor movements for your legs that's so going to burn more calories, burn more body fat. There's definitely functional benefit to training these muscles yes. and especially uh, like a lot of it resides in the frontal plane and like stabilizing lateral forces and so um, in terms of lunges, I, I just love those because it it's it's a great way to uh, you know train those muscles, but in a functional way, you're actually going to be moving uh, side to side like that, and it's not just a like an isolation thing where I'm trying to build and, and, and hypertrophy those muscles. So uh, yeah, I mean it's it's an overall thing though. If you want nice legs, you got to train your entire body uh, to respond that way. Yeah, Cossack squats. Yeah, it, Cossack yeah, squats yeah, that's great. great. If look for correctional exercise purposes, they're great. If yeah. I'm training Training someone. That's that the has, exception to me, right? That's it, right? You have a hip imbalance, you know, knees cave in or out and it's coming from the hips or you're unstable um, or you have hip pain and, and this may be one of the reasons why you have hip pain. Then you'll see me prescribing, you know, clamshells or True. leg swings or tube walking. You need to help your knee track better. Yeah, you know, but there's not reasons to for that. not to build these muscles because they, they're small. They really don't build. And I'd build more. I'd build more muscle there or sculpt more effectively with a barbell squat or a hip thrust or a lunge. So, you know, okay, what are the best exercises to target these areas? Well, first off, without a machine, if it's for correctional purposes, tube walking is really good. Uh, clamshells are really good. Side planks is a good, uh, you know, stabilizing exercise for the outer thighs. You could do leg swings, which are really good. For the inner thighs, you could place things in between your knees and squeeze them while you do things like squats or hip thrusts to activate those those inner thighs. And then, you know, some of the best stuff that I feel to be the most functional that takes it a little step further. So if you're done with correcting, but you want to continue to work on those areas, do lateral movements, you know, lateral walking by with dragging a sled or lateral lunges mm -hmm. um, or even curtsy squats. You're going to do, a, it's going to be much more effective than isolating these muscles.